Okay, so welcome to the final camera tutorial for this, the Canon XL1S. This is our most expensive and able camera. It is a, on a professional level and it has a whole load of functions that the rest of the cameras in the department don't have, which is why you only get access to it um, once you reach A-level media studies or A-level film studies. Uh, that seems to be the case that as soon as you reach the legal drinking age of 18 or possibly even 17, we give you the most expensive camera to break. I don't know why. Um, let's give you t a quick taste of what this uh, camera is all about. It's fairly simple in the way that it's constructed. You've got the lens area here, and the focusing area, and of course you have this lens cap which is always necessary to take off. We can then have a look very quickly at this area here, which is the viewfinder. Um, pretty similar to the Canon XM2. Uh, however, this camera does not have a flip-out um, viewing screen. Everything has to be viewed through here. You also have the grip, same grips and controls as the Canon XM2, so you can grip it via this. Again, I wouldn't recommend that for exactly the same reasons, that it's not very stable. We have the record button here, we have the zoom functions here. Um, however, one of the things that you'll notice is that there is a different way to zoom, which we'll come to a little bit later. Um, we also have the tape compartment, which is just here. We've got a little button at the top that, if you press that, it releases the tape. And the tape, quite naturally, goes in exactly the same way, with the red area of the tape facing outwards and down. It just slots in, like this and then you just push it on the left hand side here and leave it from there and down it goes by itself and as soon as the noise stops you can close the door. In addition to the uh, tape compartment here we also have the same battery module that we have in the XM2. It actually takes the same batteries which is very very useful. In order to load them or unload them you just press this little button here and then shove the battery downwards and out it comes. You'll notice there's an arrow on the battery here and that tells you the way it goes in. So it goes in at the bottom and it just gets pushed up like that. Exactly the same goes for the power module which is again exactly the same as the Canon XM2. It has exactly the same arrow here so you can see that this goes in again at the bottom and it gets pushed upwards like that. If you remember from the Canon XM2, this goes on to this lead here, which plugs into the main uh, power adapter, like that. And the main power adapter, of course, then plugs into the wall. So we'll remove that for the moment. Other features that we have on the Canon, Canon XL1S, um, you've also got these dials and controls. So there's an awful lot of dials, an awful lot of controls here, which are worth getting to know. The better you know your camera, the more likely you are to make good use of it. Here, this dial controls the shooting modes um, that you are in, and there are far more shooting modes here than in the Canon XM2. These buttons here all control uh, what we call the focus, so they will control the image that you get. And these controls here uh, all control the sound and the sound levels and recording levels. So there's quite a lot of good to go through there and we'll do that a step at a time. 